everyone and welcome back to my channel happy 2021 you guys um i have a good feeling about this year i feel like everything is just gonna be much better than it was in the previous year in 2020 um i hope everyone is staying safe so in today's video as you can tell from the title i will be getting the covid 19 vaccination and I just wanted to document my journey and my experience and just let you guys know why I decided to get the vaccine. And um, if I can, I'll record me actually getting vaccinated for you guys. So if you're interested and if you want to see all of that, then keep watching. So before I tell you guys the reasons why I decided to get the vaccine, I just want to put a disclaimer out there and say that I am not a medical doctor. Um, and I'm also not trying to convince anyone to actually get the vaccination. I'm just here to document my journey. <laughs> I'm just here to document my journey and tell you guys my experience um, of getting the vaccination for COVID. So just had to put that out there. So there are many reasons why I decided to get the vaccine, um, but I'll just share a few of them with you guys. Um, number one, I've had a lot of stress and anxiety about COVID. I'm that person that's not traveling for fun. Like I'm not going anywhere besides home for break. I went home for break, um, but that's it. Like I've passed up on a lot of um, out of state things because I'm just that afraid of COVID, rightfully so. Um, but yeah, I'm just that person. So I just have a lot of stress and anxiety about COVID and I just don't want to catch it. So that's number one. That's the main reason why I want to get the vaccine. Um, number two, I am in the healthcare community, as you guys know. So, and I would be seeing patients soon. So I would hate to get the virus and um, unknowingly give it to my patients or vice versa. So that's another thing for me as well. Um, dentists and the dental community in general is just like at higher risk um, of getting COVID. Obviously we work in people's mouths. So that's another reason why I decided to get the vaccine. Also, I know there's a lot of like misinformation on social media and other outlets um, saying that XYZ is gonna happen if you get the vaccination. And I just want everyone to have a clear mind and to do their own research and don't just rely on um, what someone else is saying on Facebook, for example. Another big concern of mine with COVID is the long-term health complications following after you recover. That's something that's been heavy on my mind since um, the beginning of the pandemic, basically. I was always wondering like, okay, so say that you do survive COVID, like what's gonna happen? Like, are you gonna be okay? Are you not? Like, what'll happen? And if you talk to people who had COVID and you ask them about their experience or if, you, if you've read about their experiences, um, then they'll tell you, well, some of them, I shouldn't say all, but some people still aren't able to exercise like they did before getting COVID because their lung function has diminished. Some of them have tachycardia. And if you don't know what that is, that's just an abnormal fast heartbeat and like those two combined like your lungs not functioning as they were before and your heart constantly overworking that can cause you to be fatigued throughout the day and you're tired and you're just you're just not how you were before getting covid and that's something that i'm not willing to risk um so that's why i decided to get the vaccination so my appointment is actually soon and I need to leave out the house. So once I get there, I'll try to document what I can and then I'll be back on the camera.
All right, guys. So I am back from getting my vaccination. Um, my appointment was at 1:45, and it is now five o'clock. So that just gives you a little perspective on how much time has passed since I've been vaccinated. As far as how I'm feeling, I'm fine. I don't have any like crazy symptoms going on or anything like that. My arm is a little sore, but that is expected. I don't have a headache. I don't have body aches. I don't have any of that. I just have soreness at the injection site and that's it. The um, vaccination itself didn't hurt. Um, it was fine. It was just like your average filling of the flu shot or any other vaccine that you've gotten before. So it was fine. <laughs> you had the option of getting it in your right arm or your left arm. So I got it in my left arm because I'm right-handed and I didn't want any soreness in this arm or hand. But yeah, that was pretty much it. What I really like is that they have a program called VSAFE and this is with the CDC. So if I'm having any side effects after getting the vaccination, then I can go on the app and um, the CDC will see it. And depending on like what I'm saying, the CDC will actually call me to check on me. And um, I believe that this is a very, very good way. After all, I am one of the first rounds of people who is getting vaccinated right now. So there isn't like a lot of um, data and information besides the information that they gathered from the vaccine trial. So I think this is a really good app and a really good way to have open dialogue and communication about how everyone is feeling after getting the vaccination. So yeah, guys, I'm fine. I have my COVID-19 vaccination record card right here. Let me cover some things. And so my next dose that I have to get is in three weeks, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, my next um, dose, cause you have to have two doses of this and my second dose will be on february 3rd um i'm not sure if i will record another video for that you'll probably just see any updates on instagram so follow me on instagram i'll leave my instagram handle right here so that is pretty much all that i have for this video and thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.